This is nice, isn't it? Yeah, but you know what? You you need to sleep. You need to get your rest. I want to spend as much time with you as possible. I love you so much. I love you too. But you know what? You you need to sleep, okay? So I'm going to go home. Give me a kiss. I'll see you be back first thing in the morning. Uh, nurse, it's a little bit late for tests, isn't it? Dr. Russell wants to start your treatment first thing in the morning. I'm here to prep you. Prep me for what? Instead of using needles, we'll be inserting a catheter into your chest. Oh, no, you're not. What freaking way are you putting that in my chest? No freaking way you're putting that thing in my chest, okay? So you can just take your drills and your knives, your other little torture instruments, and, and go. Thank you. It won't hurt. All right, I'm sure I uh, could in a hole in my chest. It sounds like a real cakewalk. It's a somewhat standard procedure for all patients prior to receiving the treatment you've been prescribed to prolong your life. Well, you want more time with me and Maria, right? Yes. The doctor will have the catheter in no time. I won't be able to sleep for that. You'll be given a mild sedative. I'm sorry, Mrs. Crane, but you can't be in the room when we do the procedure. But he's my husband. For better or worse, very well. You can stay. No. I think you should go and be with Maria. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'll go get the doctor. Take as long as you want. Okay, you need to get down here right now. They want to drill. And I'm not talking about my teeth. You better have a bloody good reason for wanting to see me this late. How's this for starters? What the hell is that? Well, this is a... It's my new catheter port. It's a real must-have for all patients set to have treatments for fatal malignancies they don't have. Why didn't you stop those barbarians from putting that hole in your chest? Because I couldn't think of a reason without looking suspicious. Lapsing into a coma might have worked. No. Well, now you tell me. Thanks. Where were you when I needed you? I was. I don't know that Eve was going to let them do that to you. Like, this has gotten way out of hand, right? I, I can't be treated for something that I don't have, especially if it's going to leave me impotent. Yes, that's certainly no fun. So I've been told. Listen, the only reason I'm pretending to be dying is to play in Kay's sympathy for me so she won't leave me. All right, but if I can't love her, what's going to stop her from turning to Miguel to fill her needs? She's still with you, isn't she? Yeah, she's with me for now. All right, but if I'm dying, even with the treatments, and if the treatments are going to make me impotent, why, why is Kate going to stick with me till the bitter end? Why not just go to, to Miguel sooner than later? That's a good question. <laughs> the situation may be much more dire than I realized. Oh, great. So uh, I'll lose my working parts and my wife. What about Dr. Sparrow? Why don't we just have him tell Dr. Eve that the treatments after this point would be useless? Yes, well, that would be fine if he were not unreachable at the moment in Africa. Africa? My treatments are scheduled for tomorrow morning. I suppose that's a problem. Where Dr. Gasparo is concerned to intercede on your behalf. So, so where, does this, where does this leave me? Hoping Viagra will prove a miracle? Damn it, Father, this isn't a joke. I need your help. Or I'm not going to go through something that's going to make me impotent so I can't make love to Kay. I tried reaching Gasparo, but there was no... What are you doing dressed? I'm checking out of this butcher shop. No, 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 no you, you can't. You can't. Uh, watch me. Now, wait, listen. You have come too far to let this plot blow up in your face. We both, we just have to... We have to stay calm and think this through. Yeah, well, we tried that. Now, I have a catheter port in my chest. All right, I'm getting out of here before Dr. Eve treats me to shrink something that I don't have and shrinks what I do have instead. But, well, listen, you, you're being rash. Well, that's better than being impotent, isn't it? Now, I'm going home to make love to my wife.
stayed in that hospital for the treatment, I would have been impotent. I could see Miguel trying to take advantage of my condition to be with Kay. Well, no such luck, pal. Kay's mine. Miguel can't have her.